Good morning, everyone. My name is Niket. I'm a program manager with Microsoft uh, and I work on SharePoint List. Today, I'll be taking you 15 minutes and quickly talk about custom cards and default hover cards on lists. This is driven by formatters. And what I'll be talking today would be one on custom cards. So custom cards is basically applicable, could be applied both on column and view formatting. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's basically there to define custom callouts and can be commissioned on basis of two kinds of actions, the user defined actions, which is click or hover. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be showing a demo of it quickly, but just to name it, the function name is custom card props. Uh, there are certain sub properties which are mandatory. The start one, which you see over there, are they are mandatory to be defined, and there are certain ones which are optional. So just to talk about the sub properties, open on event, as in, do you want a custom callout to be open on an event, which is let's say a click or a hover? Uh, there's a directional hint over there, which is let's say top center, bot bottom center, left center, or right center. Is beak available? The beak, if in case you want a beak over there on the custom callout. And some formatted definition, of course, that what kind of value you want to show it on the custom card. Let me just quickly uh, jump to one of the demos. So there's a there's a list in front of me which has certain title columns, product ID, product price, and all. What I'll try to do over there is there's a title column with the name of Microsoft HoloLens, right? On hover, I get to see a tooltip which exactly shows the title content. Uh, let me go on the formatter window. Uh, by the way, this is also a new template. Uh, okay, I'll leave it for now right now. So I'll go to the advanced mode over here. Let me switch back to my visual studio code. And here I've got some, some sample JSON in front of me. What I'm doing over here is I'm saying, uh, I've defined some style and I'm saying that on text content at the current field, I'm defined that whatever I apply on the current field, which is title column in this case, then I defined a property, which is custom card props. In that, I define four things. Open on event, I say on hover. Whenever I hover on title cell, I should see something. Directional hint, I define as right center. Is beak available? And a quick formatter operation, which is exactly the styling. And from where should it draw the value? So here I'm drawing the value from product price. Product price is a column name. If you notice, it's right over here, the second column. So let me do this. Let me just quickly copy and click on preview. I don't see any change right now, but once I start hovering over here, you notice there's a 3500 which I can see, which is corresponding for product price for the title call. That's what I start to get to see. If I expand the same concept, I'm, I've just shown you one example over there, one, one column. I can as well do it over there on column, let's say status column. Now this is a beautifully made custom card, which exactly is drawing certain dates, which is packed, shipped in transit from three columns, which are pack date column, ship date column, and in transit date column. I have some other experiences also, which is let's say on hover, I can do some image hover icons, or on click, I can define certain cards. So, yep, I think uh, this is the demo that I have for custom cards right now. Uh, this thing can also be applied to your uh, view formatting. I'm talking from column formatting, but it's the same functionality is also available for view formatting. Uh, I'll move on to the next one, which is default hover cards. So default hover cards is a functionality. Now formatters have existed, I think, for more than any, one and a half, two years, I think. And what happens right now, the default Microsoft hover experiences, which is exactly your file hover and profile hover cards, they get overridden in case you apply a formatter. Now what we are saying is in, with formatter, you can get to see all both these hover experiences back to normal. So just for the for the sake, I'm saying the function name is default hover field, and I'll quickly show you what do I mean by this. Let me go to the list. Now let me show it to you on document. So in, doc, in a doc lib, I get a modified column, which is basically a people column. Uh, the default behavior right now is I hover on Megan Bowen, and I see a, a profile card on top of it. But now let me go format this column. And let's say I'll apply a certain quick formatting, which is nothing. I'm just using the profile picture to enlarge it a little. So I apply some formatting on it. Now what's happening right now is if I hover on here, the formatter has overridden the default hover behavior. I can't see Megan Brown's profile card. 
and I think we've been getting these requests for very long, wherein format has override the default experience. Now let me go and do it with the new function that I'm talking, which is my default hover field. It's just a simple function where you just need to define on which column. This is the uh, not the screen column name. It's basically the actual column name behind the screen, which defines modified by column. So let me just quickly copy and preview this. Now nothing changed over here, but what I got after this is I'm getting the profile card back. This is the same functionality. This is again, it's available over there in your tiles. I mean to say your view formatters as well, and as well as your file cards. That's what I had, guys. Thank you. There's a lot of feedback. People really love this. Uh, excellent, brilliant. Uh, by the way, a very nice plus one uh, on the chat window. So really great to see this stuff moving. And also, we, we can probably say in a say, without actually exposing anything extra, we are betting quite a lot of and improving uh, the lists in the future more and more and more. So this is an area where we are constantly introducing new capabilities. So you can see similar kind of things in the future as well. Mm -hmm.